Speak again, Brendan. Come on. I, I can Come on, speak all night long, mate. I can whatever you want to, you know, chat bollocks about. <laughs> yeah, bollocks. Yeah, it's fixed now. So yeah, so awesome. So who is it? Who 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 is it from Apple that decided to get rid of the three and a half mil connector? I mean, I, I can't really. I would imagine it was a collaborated effort from their design team. Like we must go. Thinner. They've got a design team. The fuck they just slapped a bigger screen on every time. Oh, and a slightly better camera. Don't forget. Don't forget the, the I... slightly better camera. <laughs> the iPhone, the iPhone 10, just uh, like a 12-inch screen. Can yeah. you hear them in the background? My child is awake and he's screaming. I can hear that. Yes. Yeah. So I hope he doesn't come in and hijack the show because it'd be like. Yeah. Be like a photo bomb, but I'll ask him like what he thinks about AMD. He's already yeah, just... he's already learned some choice words from you, I'm sure, mate. He'll explode into just flames. It'll just be a pile of ash. I'll be like, yep, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, so I mean, when is that? Is it the iPhone? I think it's the iPhone Seven that they've took the jack off. Uh, I'm not sure they've if it's confirmed off. if they're taking. God damn it. Carry on. Carry on. I'm not sure if they've taken it off or if it's just like a discussion thing. I I reckon they will because it's Apple and that's what they do. They like to make things difficult for all of their customers. Do you think do do you wanna set trends in other words? Yeah, that's the one. Um But if make they make things do, difficult for all of their do it, customers, then bother me. Think, I'm not buying do, an Apple product. Set trends, so in other words. For all you people yeah, that want an iPhone seven. Get ready to buy new headphones, I guess. Oh, who, who can be bothered with that? Like, seriously, who can really be bothered with that? Imagine you've just spent, like, a couple of hundred quid on a set of new headphones and Apple come along and go, look at me, I'm a, fan, I'm a funny gay boy and just want to, like, let that start new trend, you know what I mean? I think, I, I, I honestly believe, and this is just my opinion, and if, like people want to disagree with me feel free to to say in the comments or whatever or if you're on youtube because this will be getting posted to youtube at some point if you want to leave in the oh i'm gonna be so, youtube famous <laughs> if you want to put in the comments <laughs> below in the um, comment section but i i honestly believe steve job steve jobs right now is rolling in his grave like turning tossing because everything that he set out to do I, like since he's died, since he's brown bread, every, Apple has seemed to have gone a complete m malicious direction to cause absolute chaos for people. And not just that, they're lying in their own pockets as well. I mean, you know, that, that's business the whole thing, isn't it? Lying in their own pockets for literally their own gain. I do, I, I mean, I do obviously appreciate that business is business. Yeah. But there's just a limit. You know what I mean? It's like the uh, current situation with Intel CPUs. I can remember the 5820K. So we're talking what? Bridget. Haswell E? That's the one. No, Haswell E, yeah. So we're talking Haswell E. Sure, it's Haswell Yeah, it's Haswell E. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can remember you could get them chips for 220 quid. Huh. And I sold really? one for like 180. Yeah, I sold like one for like. Yeah, you could get them for like they were like two hundred and twenty quid at one point. Wow, they're like three hundred and eighty or four hundred now. And then some dickhead thought, oh, we can charge more for this because there's nothing again. There's no competition. We can blame it on the market. We can blame it on current prices. And it's like, what is the absolute fucking point? I mean, obviously, like retailers always hide behind excuse. Oh, it's what we buy at the distribution. So if it just say like I'm going to use an example, Aria because they're shit. Right, well, we'll use Aria as a... As a <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh, uh, they've really. been good to Any, us. I'm only joking, I'm only joking. <laughs> I, like, I like Aria, he's fine. Um, yeah, good guy. Okay, let's just let's say Scan, all right? We'll say Scan, because no one likes them. Um, <laughs> they've bought in 1,000 i7 6700Ks, and they've paid, say, what, 180 quid for them. Yeah, each. yeah. And they're selling them for 220, right? And then... Lo and behold, Brexit comes in, or and the pound has lost its its oomph in the market, and then that they're telling people, oh, it's affecting prices, and they put their CPU price up to three hundred and fifteen pound, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got free, so you they've paid one hundred eighty quid, 
They were yep. selling it for two twenty, and now they're selling it for three fifteen, right? And that and like retailers have been telling people, oh, we're only selling, we're, 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 it's, we're losing the markup because of the price. It's like, no, you bought them CPUs from a distributor at that price. Yeah, I understand that the um, the ratios fluctuate, so like the money isn't worth as much. But, but how how has the CPU gone up a hundred quid? <laughs> More than that, mate. <laughs> yeah, three hundred. Well, they're at three hundred forty nine ninety nine on OC UK scan. Is probably roughly the same because they're usually pretty competitive. The fifty nine sixty X as well. That's they're still selling for nine hundred odd quid. Nine hundred and fifty, like, I think I saw. Hang on. I can remember I got mine in the end off on launch for six hundred quid off Dagmar. <laughs> it's like you have the fuck. Yeah, it's slightly different off Dagmar. Yeah, but uh, it was eight, but it, but it was still an eight hundred pound CPU. Now how now it's like now oh, it's nine hundred and fifty nice. on OC UK. Um, yeah, the the five at twenty K is three sixty on scan. I honestly don't get why. No, performance tune. And, and I'm not being funny, but so what they're saying is. So the pound has crashed. Does the pound crashed against every world currency, or is it just their dollar that's crashed? Uh, yeah, pretty much everything. The euro, the pound. Uh, well, of course, it's crashed against itself. You fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Um, obviously. Uh, yeah, I'd imagine. Well, if it's crashed against the uh, USD and the euro, it's going to crash against other currencies as well. I'd imagine. Yeah, I mean, it just—it's up today it though. We're up to one point three two. But it, it's not crashed to the point where they can, where retailers have just added a hundred quid, like twenty five percent on. No, it's crashed by what fifteen percent? That my maths is a bit poor. Yeah, ten fifteen percent. It doesn't warrant an extra fifty percent on the cost. And you, I know fine well retailers are not buying them chips at the bottom end price. At the bottom end, they'll wait till the exchange is up and then they buy them. And then yeah. they wait for the highs and lows. And mm -hmm. well, I mean, it just business, isn't it? Yeah, just stinks. So you've got, so you've got all those consumers that are like, getting fucked absolutely royally by the prices and Intel and retailers and. You've got Steve Jobs rolling around in his grave. I'm, I'm just going to go and kill myself. I'm just killing myself now and just get it so up. So you can roll around in your grave? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, be quite a Craig ruined player. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, it like, won't be a big grave, like. I might just get cremated. Nah. It'd probably it'd probably easier. To be honest, they should put me in, like, Sherwood Forest because I'll fertilise half that fucking place. <laughs> Damn right. Oh, uh, I've got I've got no shame, me. Nah, I, I've learned that over the years. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> hey, I can't help it. I really can't help it. Um, Michael saying, "I'll oh, just buy Android and fuck Apple." I'm trying not to fuck anything at the moment, but I mean, I've got a, and I'll, I'll happily put it on display. Is this um, on the Twitch channel? No, it's not on the Twitch channel. It's on Facebook Live. Oh, I can't see them comments. Boo. Yeah, but yeah I use a Samsung Note 4, um, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I think Samsung make absolutely fucking shit phones. Uh, the only reason I got it is because there was no better alternative for what I needed. I wasn't buying Apple because, like, I'm not fucking because stupid. Because Apple. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. Yeah. You've got an iPhone, Brendan, so you can show. Up. No, I don't. Have you got uh, what have you got now? That's a funny looking an iPhone. <laughs> it's oh. just a Galaxy S6. And why have you got a Galaxy S6? What happened to your iPhone, Brendan? Did it explode? Nah, it didn't explode. It was an S4. What was it? iPhone 4. Then I got the S4, and then oh yeah, I cracked that one because it fell out of my pocket two years later. So it was due an upgrade anyway. So I just got the S6 because the S7 was still six months away from launch, so I couldn't uh -huh. bother to wait. My brother's got an S7 Edge though, and it's, honestly, it's a lovely phone. And but I'm not going to go and spend five, six hundred quid to change it for nothing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what happened to Windows phones? Oh, yeah, they got fucking bought out, didn't they? By Nokia, was it? Yeah, you know that brand that no one really cares about anymore. The, yeah, but they, they do make the awesome, they do still make awesome phones if you, like, want to throw your phone if at you somebody. If you don't want to give them brain it, yeah. damage. Yeah, and like, just have it bounce off and, like, not even have a scratch on it. That Drop was... a knife. <laughs> you, 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 you like you put an iPhone in your pocket and the screen's like bend it. Like yeah, it's bent. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Microsoft bought Nokia. Aha. God, it's fucking ridiculous. So yeah, AMD. 
Oh, oh, oh. oh come on, go. Go on. Oh, go on, say it. I've only just made friendlies with the bloody AMD guy today. I know. He's, no, I don't no, no, roast him. no, no, I'm not roasting him. <laughs> I like Joe. Now nah, you're not roasting not, Joe. I... You're roasting AMD, which oh, is well, what right. for. That's fine. <laughs> right, AMD. Like I, I read somewhere that AMD, the Zen is twice as fast as their last chip. Um. The 8350. Well, that was a piece of shit anyway. Now, this source came from a reputable... Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, I'll use reputable Chinese website that I will not mention. Because um, <laughs> they're absolutely fucking shit. <laughs> like, was it... Like uh, half the, oh, shit, yeah. was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, it, was. <laughs> it is. It's that WCC. WCC, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of, yeah. They've got the, like, the most reliable sourcing information ever. Like, fucking you could make up a bullshit article <laughs> send it to them and they'll publish it. You could set the Zen's 200% faster than an Intel chip, and they'll be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. publish this, clickbait, boom, and on it goes. <laughs> exactly, and you've got, like, um, like you've got Mr. Bean and fucking Barry Chuckle <laughs> as, like, the lead <laughs> source and art editors and stuff. Yep. It's like, yep. I'm, I'm, I'm forever seeing, like, people in the industry and, like, and I'm not talking, like, us, I'm talking, like, respectable people in the industry. See, this is what I mean. I type in WCCFT into Google search and the first thing that comes up on their search is clickbait as a search link. Yeah. That's the first thing. It's... Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's literally... It's diabolical in my opinion. It's It's gone to pot, mate. It's... <laughs> But yeah, why does this forum still AMD. allow their tech <laughs> to be posted? Are they not worthy Reddit posts? Oh my! Who, Who said that? Uh, this is a post on um, Linus Tech Tips forums saying why does the forum still allow WCCF tech t uh, articles to be posted? It should literally, it should be like, do you want know, like a profanity filter? They should have a filter for it's, WCCF that should be a filter. tech. Yeah, man, it should be. If like, if I ever see any ed any of player editors sourcing them, I'm going to lose my shit. Like, that's what I'm like. <laughs> Literally just, like, go to the kitchen and just cut my own Slaughter throat. Them. And be like, yeah, because the credibility just goes out the window. It's like... At that point, yeah. It's... Sometimes to get it right... Um, oh, if they've copied it from somewhere else, maybe. But, but there's other UK media sites who source them all the time because they're clickbait too. It's... I, Ah, never mind. Yeah. Ian, Zen, Zen. Let's go Zen, back to Zen. Zen. Let's click I the fuck out of this. I, I cannot wait to see Zen. I cannot wait for it to come out. I'm Neither really looking I. forward to it. I'm intrigued by the the fact that they claim they're going neck and neck with um, Intel's Broadwell e-chips for video rendering. Because I remember yeah, testing but... um, the FX8350 against <clears throat> an, uh, it was an, uh, the 3770K at the time. And it got absolutely smashed, like yeah. double the cores, and it was like half the performance. It was absolutely diabolical. So, if, I mean, if if they can pull it off and bring it to market, like what we're talking about, I don't know, like thirty three percent of the price, even even a bit less. Like even if it was only twenty percent cheaper than Intel chip, they will have an absolute winner, like no questions. The, and to be honest, we need that kind of chip to come out to. To knock Intel down and bring yeah, their to prices to a normal level. A bit. Yeah, something I mean, to bring them down. quid for a bloody high-end desktop chip. Honestly, what are I mean, they that's, thinking? That's, that's the only good thing about. And I'm, no, I don't. I don't, it's not the only good thing about AMD graphics cards. But um, the reason that AMD graphics cards are so important is to keep Nvidia's graphics cards at a reasonable price point. Yeah, they like, keep I, it. I, when there's when the, when AMD are not competing. With them. When, when when there's no competition, the price performance ratio there isn't a, like there's no correlation. The price between value does this, anymore. and the performance does that. <laughs> exactly, there needs to be competition of some form, and I think, I mean, AMD said this about Steamroller and all this. Oh, it's the best thing since sliced bread. But we didn't even see it. They brought APUs out, and that was it. Yeah, and they were shit. Like AP, <laughs> the APUs they brought out. Like that were based on Steamroller, weren't even faster than the, the, the Kaveri <laughs> shit they brought out. I didn't like... know, I never even saw them. You dealt right. with them, didn't you, was it? Or was yeah, it some... I think i seen, well I've definitely seen some of them. Mm. I was not impressed, put it that way. But yeah, no. like I'm really, the only thing that I'm really 
really, really interested in is the IPC performance. Yeah, that's the it. single core because that is where that's the crux for me because, like, general not everything is going to use all the eight cores, and if or it's okay having friends. eight cores, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's okay having all that shit in it, and but if your CPU is using or your computer is using one core to do do something, yeah. You need to have that performance, but um, AMD are on about saying that it's got a forty percent IPC performance increase. That's huge, like compared to what they were. And now, are they still on? Are they still on the um, the current chipset? Not the not the chipset, the architecture as such, but the actual M socket. Are they Mm. are they switching to LGA? Are they staying with the? I've read that they're sticking with uh, PGA. Um, all of their server stuff, like um, the Optrons, the Optrons and, and all that, like massive, like I don't even know, they're huge, bloody rectangular chips. Um, they're all on LGA. Um, I don't know their reasoning. Like, why wouldn't you just make it all LGA? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, but I guess that's that's the way they want to do it. But but I'm really interested to see the, not just. I mean, like, AMD downclocked, when they were doing the testing, they downclocked the Intel CPU to the same... Well, yeah, was, yeah, so it was a clock week now, thing. Now, to me, that says either the the actual CPU that they've got can't clock as high as the Intel chip, or the, you know, the percentage of performance, yeah. does it drops, so it might work really great at 3 gigahertz, but you put it up to four and match it against a four gigahertz Intel chip, the performance might be. It, it, might, might, down. Take, it might take the lead again, yeah. It might. I, I, you know, I'm just skeptical at that at that point because mm. I mean, like, it's got it's just weird for me that AMD are like because AMD is like clock speed. It's just clock speed this and clock speed that. And we no can hit five gigahertz on air and five point six on cold water. I mean, I yeah, yeah. They I even released, <laughs> they even released a cancerous global warming apocalypse of five gigahertz chip that you even half the half half the, half the half the ninety nine 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 ninety FX boards couldn't even support it because the the fucking VRMs were even didn't even support the TDP yep. of the chip. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck. It's like, yeah, we just bang five gigahertz out, and then. <laughs> but I'm really skeptical with Zen about the clock speed. I want to see, I want to see it at four gigahertz, not three gigahertz. That's like two chips mm. slightly jogging side by side. Yeah. I want to see, but that's like you say, Bond going for a jog with Mo Farah at five hundred five thousand meters. I wanna see a fucking hundred meter I wanna see more Farah versus Usain Bolt with a hundred meter sprint and I tell you what, Usain Bolt would be like Poof. It'd be gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just I'm just worried that that's the performance like Um I think that's the problem. Uh I really I think I like it it's obviously only gonna be an ES chip because it's not full retail ready for production yet. Um Yeah. So I think maybe because most Intel chips as well, when they are on the ES chips, they're usually slower as well. Um, it doesn't usually... Well, as you know, um, the ES chips actually used to overclock the best, which is why review sites used to get them to be like, holy shit, look what this can do. And you go out and buy one, and you're like, well, what the yeah. hell? I can't even get close to that. No chip. Yeah, I know what you mean. So I, I don't know, know, exactly if, I don't know if they're trying to be more realistic, um, like with a 3 gig base clock, and then they'll have... You know, like a turbo boost, like Intel's got, because theirs is what three point five to turbo boost to three point eight or something. So maybe yeah. they'll have a, I don't know, a three point five base and th- four gig boost. You know, it's a, it depends how much power they end up drawing, because they're meant to be more efficient. However, it is AMD, uh, and we know they uh, run hot and read a lot of power. So we're not sure <laughs> which way they're going. Yeah, the the really, really, really focusing on this and um, this low power stuff, but. Yep. I, I don't mind something that's high power if, as long as if it's it performs, high performance I don't yeah. mind, yeah, if it performs I don't care how much power it uses because like people... that's why they make 2000 watt PSUs and yeah yeah. That's, that, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they're for, you know like, thanks to um, Superflower and Park for that, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, exactly. The 2000 watt Mate, they, you can pull like 2.5 kilowatt out of that unit no problem apparently Yeah, yeah. I can it's imagine Ian's 
Oh, he's 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 abused it a bit. I think he's had two and a half kilowatt out of it while he was unit uh, doing those Titan X um, quad SLI runs at the MSI OC Academy. Bloody hell! Yeah. Oh yeah, that 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 wasn't that the one where like. Where it was an MSI event and he just bent for gigabyte stuff and it made MSI <laughs> cry. Yeah. <laughs> like they actually started crying. Well, to be honest, I would cry too. Well, it's a bit of a. Yeah, it's a bit of a piss take, isn't it? But at his. Well, at his level when he was then, because he doesn't bench anymore. Um, yeah, he could literally do what he wanted when it yeah, that turn. That's it. And at the end of the day, I mean, he had to. He was going for a world record to try and beat out fucking Dan Flop and, uh, you know, the rest of them that are on that level. So he has to go with what's going to give him the best performance, not necessarily to please whose event he's at. Yeah, makes sense. Which I understand, but obviously you're going to piss off a lot of people doing that. So. Yeah, no, no, without a doubt, it's, it, it's bound to happen. Um, that's why when, when I did the big freeze, um, obviously big freeze UK event, yeah, yeah, that we did, people. But um, that's why when we got Asus on board, like Asus were absolutely brilliant. They made the event, um, the venue, the portal, best people in the world. More to come with that. Um, you've also, like, I made sure, like, prior to... That you were going to slaughter two boards and make the Asus <laughs> rep cry, right? Yeah, yeah. Apart, apart, apart from like making him cry, like he, he like, but the worst thing is he like he left two weeks after that, like not because of the what, I, not because of yeah, me, yeah. but because no, he, you he changed knocked, fields. You just knocked an extra nail in his coffin, didn't you? Literally, <laughs> um, <laughs> and like we made sure when we did when 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 i organized that event when we organized the event and people stuff um, everyone who was a part of it organized i made sure when i was dealing with Asus that people could bench on other boards yeah people weren't limited and restricted whereas like apac basically had the power to shove two what the fuck <laughs> shove two fingers i'm i'm, I'm under attack isis did cover <laughs> isis like uh, did you not hear that I did. I was wondering. It sounded like a bacon tray or something falling. Excuse me, Isis, go away! Apparently, someone's seen a spider and I have to fuck off. <laughs> yes. That is a good kill it. <laughs> I think next time I do a play live show, I should like either use chloroform and put people to sleep. Fucking huge. You know, I'm on the live show. It's a spider. Can you like go out, go away, please? Use the chloroform, or just get a bottle of whiskey and just like, I don't know. Oh, I could do with a bottle of whiskey to be honest. It's not a bad like, idea. <laughs> I've literally just been stopped dead in my tracks now, Brandon. Because <laughs> there's a fucking spider. <laughs> oh Jesus, man! A little eight-legged creature is just. I bet it's like. That as well, it's like absolutely tiny. Literally. I bet, I bet, I bet eight packs have like bigger fucking hair balls come out of his nose than, than that spider. <laughs> Not seeing eight packs like got hairy nose and stuff because you probably yeah, batter yeah, him. Yeah, 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 he'd probably smack you on. <laughs> hey, I get on with, I get on with Ian when I speak to him. He seems like an alright guy, doesn't he? No, he's sound. He's sound. He's a good lad. <laughs> but yeah, um, but no. When it comes to when it comes to AMD, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm not gonna sit here and refute any of the claims that they've made about the chip. I you think know, it's what... uh, wise to take a bit with a pinch of salt. Yeah, the only thing that I say when when I see these early tests and stuff is mm. they would not test it and showcase it if it was not to their advantage. I want to see it on. Th That's I want it. to see how it performs. Yeah, it might match it at the moment, downclocked and match it. But what about other, you know, things? Yeah. Because it... it was only one thing, wasn't it? It was in um, video rendering where it was. Yeah. It's using eight cores and sixteen threads. Yeah. I want to see it using four cores or. <laughs> or yeah. Four, like... Two cores or one core. I think it's. Um... Well, it's meant to come out. 
if it's ready, according to Joe, uh, sort of end of the year, Christmas time, or um, Q1. So I reckon towards so Q2 towards then. maybe Q4. You never know. Uh, it's yeah. AMD. What next um, year? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 2017. Um, so maybe towards leading up towards Christmas. I so said like November time, we might start to see more leaked benchmarks come out because then they'll have samples going to media and that sort of stuff. Or you'll have people who work in the industry and like, do you know what? Fuck it, I'm taking one of these home and I'm gonna, I'll be the first like massive clickbait on the internet. You know, th- <laughs> those kind of people. But I'd, I'd, I'd love to literally just get my hands on Zen now and test it against this chip. That well, obviously it wouldn't be fair because this chip that I've got next to me will blow mm. it out the water. But what the uh, six nine fifty X? Yeah. What, what is it? Ten core twenty threads. Yeah. I haven't got mine anymore. I'd have to go back. <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> yeah, but I do appreciate you just for sending me it. Yeah. Just for a bit. Vi- it's literally for a video review. It's been nothing more than a video review. What I've neglected to mention is it's gonna get its ball ball bench <laughs> for for everything. I I because you know I got my chip from uh, Gigabyte when he sent that board over. Yeah. It literally. Hang on, I read you the lit, the exact email. Oh, yeah, I've seen that email. That was the first thing I said to everyone. <laughs> I literally said to everyone, I was like, this is lol. Oh, where is it? Uh, that inbox. Yeah, man. Um, oh, where is it? I don't like to say it, but I must. I know you overclock a lot, and I know what you're doing, but please don't push it too hard. <laughs> don't push no it worries, too hard. No worries, mate. <laughs> Not I'm... on your boards, we won't, mate. <laughs> Oh, shots fired! <laughs> well, I had the um the MSI Titanium to whack it in. Um, uh, what's it? Oh, I got no L and do though. Like Harry's got my duo now and all that. So yeah, what happened to me getting first refusal on it? He offered me three hundred quid. <laughs> he is Did selling he? it again though. Yeah, man, I got three hundred quid for it. He's not getting three hundred quid off me. I know. I, I got it for much less than that, as you know. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, no. I mean, if you want to do it, just literally on eBay, um, they pop up every now and then, and they're the, they go for cheap. It's it's a risk because sometimes the vacuum isn't intact. But, yeah, um, the seal's like fucked. And what's stuff. His there, name? there is there um, is one on eBay at the moment. Pete, uh, you know from Cryo. Um, yeah, he, Mr. He Mansfield. Can, yeah, he can uh, revacuum them. <laughs> Well, there's, there's one on e, there's one on eBay currently. I know this is like the live show, but fuck it, man. <laughs> there's, there is one on eBay for like two hundred quid at the moment, but it's only a thirty-five. Thirty-five liter. Yeah, that's the first one that popped up. There was another one that I seen yesterday. It was a fifty liter and a three thirty-five liter. Yeah. But they didn't know which. They said they reckon one of the seals was fucked, but they didn't know which one. And it's like, yeah. Yeah, You're that's selling. the issue. And then you yeah. fill it up, and you come back tomorrow, like expecting to use it. Where the hell's it all gone? Where's Alien too? <laughs> and why is the why, why is the why is the water on the ground like ice? Why is my fourth float frozen? It's summer. Why am I stuck to it? Yeah. Mate, did you see uh, the pictures? I froze my back garden when I emptied the doer out. Yeah, I I like nearly killed myself <laughs> with it as well. Oh, that's good stuff. Now, how much would it cost to get this delivered? It says free delivery. Arrange your own, I'd imagine. But yeah, b- back on the old. Uh, the Zen topic. Um, yeah, let's carry on. I'm just looking at like the actual specs, like um, the one that this bit uh, Bittech posted up. Um, obviously, they've now got hyperthreading, which has been a long time coming for them. I think they needed that um, just to add and you know that extra boost of performance. And um, the other thing is they've got better instruction schedulers. They're up by almost like a hundred percent on the integer ones, which is insane considering you know uh, their whole idea was well we're going to make a chip you know with the um power driver chips and the bulldozer chips yes um, we're going to make a chip that nobody uses or no one knows how to program for and everyone is going to cater to that um no <laughs> nope. that's not how it works you know like when they used um mantle they used no it wasn't mantle and they used half the um the core schedulers so you only had one for each for two cores instead of two you know one for each core yeah and they're like well 
people need to you know optimize their operating systems for this is like well no you've just been utter dinlos and you should yeah. have used one for each core like it has been since x86 began you know yeah exactly it's it's apples and oranges it's apples and oranges i don't ex- i think the main thing with it is is like I, i'm just i'm so skeptical of what they've released in the past like five years six years you mean the chips um, that were beaten by Fen? <laughs> yeah yeah i'm literally like for the, like five years or so mm. like i've been so skeptical of their cpu releases and their marketing yeah this is the first time I haven't like I'm actually quite hopeful because they've had so much time to develop this and there's been from the from their FX range like from the yeah because pile drivers from such... what 2013 um yeah but what about bulldozer ah we won't talk about that bloody <laughs> exactly terrible terrible idea exactly and it's them chips that I've left I mean you you can find the, the tr- there's like trolls on every forum every facebook group every fit everywhere you know you've got people all the fanboys are everywhere but the thing that really gets to me mm. is people just argue against fucking logic and it's like they're like oh this AMD CP is better than this Intel CP and it's like no mate it's fucking not there is not a fucking fact on this planet earth that that CPU it. no the only time it comes to better is when it's an APU and you need a better onboard graphics card. That is literally it. Because even then, everyone like, oh, it's a quad core with this amazing onboard graphics and you know, all this fancy stuff. And you think, well, hang on. In 90% of PC cases where you're doing stuff, it's actually a dual core. So... Yes. <laughs> what? And Yeah, and the, the, the whole thing, like... I just saw this on the most trustworthy source of the internet, Wikipedia, of course. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, when they released the, um, what was it, the FX uh, 9590? 9590, yeah, 5 yeah. gigahertz chip. Yeah. They were like, oh, this this chip is amazingly fast. And it was like, well, duh, you just cranked up the clock speed. That's what your speed <laughs> it's is coming amazing, from. <laughs> it's amazingly fast. It's actually as fast as a 8530, 80, 8350. 8350 chip at yeah, 5 gigahertz, which all most of those, them did anyway. Yeah, which cost you 130 quid to buy, or you could buy this fantastic, supposed, amazing 5 gigahertz chip, which is literally just a multiplier change uh, in the I, BIOS I for what's triple the, stock, the price. <laughs> what's the stock voltage on that chip? When that chip came out, it was like 800 quid. Really? Yeah, it was, it was only 5 gigahertz turbo as well. And oh my nine... god, the TDP was 220 watts. <laughs> I need to check this now, actually, because I'm fucking curious. 9590 <laughs> release price. Let's have a look at this. Because, I mean, the... <laughs> the... It was $920 when it came out. So, at that time, it would have been, what, 600 quid-ish? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and but you... the FX 9370 yep. was $346. But it was only clocked 300 megahertz lower. Yeah, and funny story, you could buy the 8350, which was even uh, cheaper than that, like $250, and it would almost guaranteed hit 5 gigahertz. Yeah. Literally change the multiplier, whack on the default voltage of 1.5, I think it was. Job done. There it is. Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit, 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 bullshit. That's literally it. Well, it's, um, yeah. they deployed the same tactic as uh, Intel, innit? We have... Uh, like they've got the, th- well now they've got the four chips on Broadwelly, but on uh, Haswell, they had the 5820K, which is literally a 5830K with less PCIe lanes and slightly slower clock speed, but it's half the price. And then you've got an extra two cores, but still the same amount of PCIe lanes and all the rest of it. And that's another 50% more on the cost. Hey, look at that, that's pretty, that's quite gorgeous. Oh, this is the Asus board with the 10 core, like, grand and a half chip. I'm this dying to play with it. I need to go and do a full operating install on it in a minute. And... That's the only op- Asus board I got here at the moment. The Sabretooth. Oh, man, I've got Asus boards coming out of my ass over here. It's nice. I'm done. I think I'm done, Brendan. All this talk You're all done. this talk about fucking EMD bulldozers and power drivers made That's me, a... like, want to go and commit suicide. Makes you want to go and... No, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Commits it. God damn. I can't put that on YouTube. Or can I? 
Oh my god, I'm watching Mel. I don't know, like a leave in the comments Mel's if you doing... liked it. Yeah, if, if you like AMD, give it a thumbs up. If you hate AMD, give it a thumbs up. If you like Intel, give it a thumbs up. If you like, if you don't like Intel, give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Everything needs a thumbs up. It helps us amazingly. Supposedly, I wouldn't know. I'm not an, um, a YouTube affiliate. But yeah, um, <laughs> Mel is currently doing VR on... Oh, she has a vibe, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. She does indeed have a vibe. She's actually doing... Gamel tries to create things in Twovery, but she's playing WWE 2K. On a vibe? <laughs> well, no, it's not... Um, like, literally. Um, it's not changed. All right. It's not tra cha changed the name of the games. It's literally ridiculous. Is she yeah. streaming it? Is she or? Yeah. Mel tries she's to create things. She's boring. playing a HTV Vive. That yeah, looks like that. so much fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go much Mel. So I suggest everyone goes and no, yeah, I'll cut this bit off, off on YouTube. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, yeah. guys. You want to see you next time? Him? We'll see you next time, guys. <laughs> Motherfucker. I'll abuse Gav more, don't worry. Abuse <clears throat> me all you want, baby. Oh, I will, sweetheart. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye.